Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to enter phonetic symbols from the International Phonetic Alphabet, IPA. Uh, there are a number of ways to enter these symbols. Um, I'm going to show you the method that uses the replace as you type functionality in TLEX. Um, replace as you type functionality uh, basically allows you to enter one particular text string that will be or a particular text string that will be replaced by some symbol or symbols as you type uh, as the name indicates uh, I'm just going to open one of the user guide samples here and and I'm going to enter a new entry near right. Uh, firstly the replace as you type functionality can be turned on or off via the tools menu by access accessing this enable replace as you type menu command. If there is a tick next to it, it's enabled. Uh, second thing to see over here, show replace as you type help. Uh, this opens a dialog uh, which floats there and we can actually carry on working see if we can actually carry on working while that dialog is displayed uh, and this, this dialog displays all the replace as you type uh, symbols that have been defined in the system uh, it is possible to add new ones uh, that's a topic for the user guide uh, that's explained in the user guide uh, you can also print this reference by right clicking here and selecting the print option uh, if you want to place it somewhere near where you work. Right, there are a lot of other different symbols here as well, not just uh, IPA symbols. So we have for example um, bracket C bracket uh, and you see the moment we type the closing bracket uh, it replaces it with the copyright symbol. Uh, you can see we also have uh, smart ellipsis implemented dot 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 becomes the single ellipsis character but let's get on to what we're really interested in which is the IPA, the phonetic symbols um, and as you can see there's a whole lot of them defined here um, and slash e slash will generate the uh, up down e, the schwa and slash I slash will generate that in small capital I or slash I S C I small capital. Uh, so now we head to our pronunciation box under F1 and we simply type N slash I slash and slash E slash near and of course the R I think. Um, and as you can see that's quite straightforward uh, if you are not seeing these symbols over here if you are seeing square blocks that usually means that you don't have a decent font installed that can display uh, the IPA um, one of our one of the recommended fonts that we suggest is Arial Unicode MS if you install that font in Windows you will uh, be able to display many of these characters. Just a few of the other things that we can define here are for example subscript numerals, uh, superscript numerals, and a lot of different options. Uh, it's best to check the replace as you type help. Uh, once in a while you might be um, typing something that gets incorrectly replaced by replace as you type uh, and then you can just simply turn off replace as you type temporarily and turn it back on again when you need it. 